This is a double-barreled question directed at both George and Paul, who are the two remaining... We're not getting married now. Okay. Who are direct... That's all I wanted to know. You're both the only bachelors, and you're not yeah. going to give us any indication of what your matrimonial plans might be. In fact, so we're going to just get an answering service for press conferences for that question. Thank yeah. you very much. We're both queer anyway, you know. <laughs> Write that one in your magazines. Paul, do you feel that um, your vacation here in Los Angeles was a success, even though you didn't have very much privacy? Yeah. You had good. a chance to relax. What was your... We did have a lot of privacy. Did you mind the girls on the hill? No. Great. What was your most enjoyable part of your vacation? Pardon? What was the most enjoyable part of your vacation? Just lazing around. Yeah, I think. I'm oh, visiting Elvis. Since your uh, tours over here are so successful, uh, why is it you only come over once a year? Because they wouldn't be successful if we came too often. <laughs> Will you go to Germany eventually? Pardon? Will you go to Germany eventually? We don't know that. Brian decides where we go. It's so a big market. It's worth going to, but it's the time. Well, may I direct this question towards uh, Paul and John? I understand you're. Right, I understand you're Dylan fans. We all uh, are you. We all are. You all Dylan fans. Even George, even George, even George, even George, even George, and Rachel like it. <laughs> even the non-musical members of the group. <laughs> you don't plan on. Uh, I don't uh, want to correct Ringo, but uh, you'll be back from San Francisco at the time of the Dylan concert. We'll, 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 we'll leave. Exactly. Night, we play the same night that he's here. He's here. And we, and leave, we leave on Wednesday for England. For England. And we saw him in Britain. Did any of you help Mr. Epstein write his books? Pardon? Did any of you help Mr. Epstein no, write his no. books? No, no. No, he needed no, it, no. but we couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of the tunes in the uh, in Help sounded as if the sound might be changing just a little, getting even more sort of traditionally blues-oriented. Maybe this is just an opinion. No, Do you feel that there's any change in the sound? We, yeah. We try and change every record. You know, we've tried to change from the first record we've made. And if you progress we... musically, then you naturally change. If you play our early records and the lady, even though we haven't made all that many, there's, there's a lot of difference, you know. We're not trying to do it consciously, you know, uh, particularly. Even re recording technique, you, if you improve that slightly, your sound changes, basically. Ringo, I understand that the record album Help has four different numbers in the English version and in the United States version. Is this true? Uh, yes, and so why? Yeah. Because uh, we're in capital, the English yeah. album has 14 tracks yeah. and they're all our numbers and on the American one, I don't know how many tracks there are, but then you've got some... The second of us, it's real capital yeah. issue, all sort of mad stuff, you know, it's nothing to do with us. We See, make 14 tracks to be put out, but they keep a couple of them it's a drag. out later. It's, it's a drag because, you know, the album, we, we make an album to be like an album and, and to be a they complete thing. And we send it over here. No offense, Capital, but <laughs> send it over here. And they put the soundtrack on. And if so, you know, if someone's gonna buy one of our records, I think they want to hear us and not soundtrack. They even change the photograph off the front and put something <laughs> daft on. Yeah. Either that or they should make it all well, sound. Like we'll see it. John and Paul, you recently produced a record by the Silky. Yes, yes. Do you plan to do a lot of A and R work, or is this just a one-time thing? No, we just wanted to do it, you know, and it was a song that we'd written. And we'd been off a week. We had nothing to do. We had nothing to do, and so we asked if we could do it with them. Do you think he'll do any more? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I hope so. Okay, thank you. John, did you know that four girls have been circling above your home in a helicopter? I heard about two girls that have been in a helicopter. I what? Didn't, but that's all. Four. Four. Were they them. driving it? We were in bed at the time. What do you think of the groupies or the girls that make a business of chasing groups? I think it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> do any of you go to church? No. No. Not lately. George, um... Have you and the Beatles ever been to South America or Russia for a tour? No. Or, or why not? Well, the Russians don't like us. And we don't particularly want to go to Russia. They burn us there. Well, I don't. And South America, I don't think they've ever heard of us down there. Yes, they have. They yes, have. They we have. Nearly yes, went, George. We almost oh, we went, nearly went next Mexico. time because Brian wanted to see Mexico. Yes, we nearly <laughs> went. We tore we the places our manager wants to see. <laughs> he takes his camera and... 
What, so we'll uh, probably be going there. <laughs> What's your program for the next few months, say, for the next three or four months? Uh, like concerts? Or uh, depends or on whatever. what Mr. Epstein wants to see. <laughs> Does he we know? have a month off as soon as we get back, and it'll most probably just be TV and records. and TV and bull rings and things like that. He likes that sort of stuff. There have been some quotes on some radio stations uh, in which you put down the movie magazines. You said that the things that they are saying are unfair, like Ringo always waves, and some movie magazine said that he did not wave, yeah. and television proved it. I, my question is, do you feel that, number one, there is a difference between the treatment that you have received by movie magazines and all other magazines, and teenage magazines specifically? Well, the teen ones and the movie ones are written by people that never leave the office and they just make it all up, you know, and it's a lot of rubbish. But there's nothing we can do about it because the libel laws are so peculiar over here. <sighs> well, no, yeah, movie but magazines were talking about it, the same kind of thing. You know? But the thing is the teen magazines, like 16 magazine, well, even though the stuff they write is still rubbish. It might it's not as bad as the movie mags, but it's still rubbish. But there's know. some there's some great magazines, you know, and some crummy ones like anywhere. But there's just a few more crummy ones over here, I think. <laughs> I mean, you know, you've got to admit it. If if someone puts in, you know, is Richard Burton dying? I've just read the whole article. Leaving the group as He's well, leaving yes, the group, it. definitely. No, I mean, I definitely married him. What can you do about that? You know, you can't you can't sue him here. What can you do? It's and fun you can't to read. Bring him up and say, I'm not leaving the group. Where did you get this from? Because then they get big publicity out of yeah. it. So you just got to leave it. But we just keep telling everybody that they're lousy and hoping the kids will gradually cotton on, you know, just buy them for the photographs and don't believe all the rubbish. The thing is, if you read them like fiction instead of fact, it's much better, you know. But you get all these letters and are you really leaving? Or is Paul married? And have you got 12 wives? And all that stuff, you know. I love them, And though, it's I worrying. Know. It's nice to read I've Got Twelve Wives. John and, jo and John and Paul, in creation of a Beatles song, between inception and actual creation of the product, what's the process and how long does it take? It varies. It's just sitting down and working it out. You know, it, it can take days or it can just take a couple of hours. Depends on how easy it is. Sir. Pa? 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 Yes? Pa how much of your personal life do you feel you have a right to keep private? Do you believe in being dishonest with your public to do so? Um, what was the last, didn't hear the last bit. I'm sorry. How much of your personal life do you feel you have a right to keep private? And do you believe in being dishonest with the public to do so? Dishonest? I don't know, really. Um, I like to be, you know, quiet when I'm not working. And I can't have it quiet all the time. But I, I like it quiet. Yeah. But I, I, we expect it, all of us expect it when we come on to it. Like this five days in Los Angeles, you know. And we expected it. Something like that, anyway. I'd like to ask about. Ringo, uh, which country he enjoyed touring the best of everything that he's... Uh, America. I enjoy America, you know. It's, it's, it's so different to England. I mean, all the other places are different, but at least you can speak to people over here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> in a way, you know. Paul, how do you, how do you go about selecting the, um, the songs you are going to do for a concert? We, we just do, on a concert, we just do songs that are known at all. So we just pick um, the songs that are best known. Is there one particular favorite that you do at, uh, at many of the concerts? We do, we do most of them, most of the ones that we do now. We we do we've we've done at all the concerts. Ones. All our records, you know. You know us. Uh, what group do you consider the largest challenge to your popularity? Could I ask Paul? Um, yeah. <laughs> you can ask me, I don't know, though. There's a new one every week, you know. Yeah, the Silky, I think. Big challenge there. Socks. Up and coming. Do uh, any uh, of you actually get any fan mail at all, or is it all channeled through your fan clubs? Really? We get one. We get one. Yeah, well, I'm there. yeah, yeah we, we get it all. because 16 Magazine prints at our addresses in... You know, <laughs> handily for the fans. Well, do you um, ever actually answer it, or... Also, do you accept registered letters from fans? Yeah, we, we get a lot of mail that we answer ourselves. Did but there's so much of it goes into fan club the branches and offices the mail all over the world. America is that they put self-addressed envelopes with American stamps on. If they thought a minute, they'd know that it doesn't work. They should put English ones on. Oh, would you mail it if they put English ones on? We, may, we answer quite a bit, especially when we get months off. You get to... You're standing there at 9 o'clock waiting for the postman <laughs> for something to do. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, you've been...
Paul, you've been described as having the face of a typical matinee idol. How do you feel about this? I don't feel about that, you know. I hate that. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Rugged, rugged, okay. Five o'clock matinee. Oh, you know. Last summer in San Francisco, a uh, doctor said that the Beatles uh, were instruments of the communist uh, yes. propaganda. <laughs> that, you were, that you were softening up and corrupting America's youth. Yes. What yes, did you right. say to that? Watch out next year. Yeah, you know, a doctor of what? Mm. Who was it who said it? Who was he, you know? He's just some off you know. They call themselves doctors and Nurses. sergeants and things. <laughs> we're all capitalists anyway, you know, don't worry. Capitalist, get it? <laughs> it went down well in Chicago. There was a lot of criticism uh, over your being awarded the Royal Order of the British we Empire. We didn't get the order. We got the MBE, whatever that one is. The MBE, the not the MBE, British Empire. Yeah. Not the Royal yeah, Order. Yeah, but the order's it's a the better one. Anyway, yeah, we got the it's yeah, the first okay. step on the way to knighthood, right? It isn't. Isn't at all. I thought it was. We don't give enough to charity for It is for some beer. I no, see. But anyway, there were some members who had received the same award yeah. who had turned theirs in. Well, what is your reaction to this? Well, There's ours were civil awards, and theirs were sort of, what are they? What are they Military heroes. Military, they go yeah, on for yeah. killing people, and I think, you know, we deserve we ours kill for not killing people. Anyway, you know, we've got them and they haven't. Um, yeah, and most of them were <laughs> French Canadians, you know. If they send any more. Oh, back what uh, what Great. American group do you admire the most? The birds. The birds. Uh, and they admire the loving spoonful. <laughs> yeah, they like the loving spoonful. I'd like to uh, direct this question to any one of you. Is it true? We heard a rumor over here that your English, uh, uh, your British version of the last movie. Hard Day's Night was longer than ours over here. Is this true? No. No. And uh, were there portions uh, a great deal of the movie help cut? You get no, the same film as you get nearly else nearly the same film money. We no, have you to. Don't uh, get the same film. I think I think you do. But the thing is, for America, we have to cut out the word toilet. Exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have to call it a bathroom for oh, America. Yeah, right, this is this has to be the last question. That's true. That's true. We have to cut out a few words because they. What do you take think of your uh, movie A Hard Day's Night being nominated for an Academy Award? What do you think of that? It's funny, isn't it? That's all uh, uh, there's, there's been a lot of controversy over the fact that since there's so much screaming at your concerts, you don't sort of rehearse them before or worry too much about them. Is that true? We never have. Well, we always we sing songs that, we've been, that we know. Because so we must know them because we recorded them, so we don't need to rehearse them, do we? And it doesn't bother us. The only thing we've got to know is which ones we're time, doing. The yeah. thing is, you know, we still don't rehearse for places where they can hear us, like on the Ed Sullivan show. And, you know, when, the, on the, when it comes on television, you can hear it. Sort of, uh, you know, much better than at a concert. We still don't rehearse for that. We never have, you know. We rehearse the sound of the technician. I think not the song. Uh, we met before. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Kurt. And I just have a feeling that uh, you have turned a little bit anti-press. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, that's just because we you up to see the pool. That's all. <laughs> no, that isn't it. It's just that I was uh, promised many times and told many stories, but... Uh, yeah. Well, what Nothing about all the things happened. you, all the photographs you promised? All yeah. You had on Rob, you know, robbed all tricks. the plane and then you left them. Yeah, I mean, that, that's yeah. no good, Kurt. Bad Kurt. Bad, Kurt. Bad Kurt. naughty Kurt. 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 You promised all, Do the, to all the stewardesses waiting for their Kurt, photographs. Hey. Let's continue this next year. dollars down, Ron, eh? I have a serious question and you didn't answer me. Do we love you, Kurt? You do love me. Love you. Well, I love you, but I didn't feel the love because I never saw you until today. Right, thanks, Kurt. Didn't want to pollute the pool. Right, now, <laughs> we're moving on now to the television part of things, and there's going to be a moment or two's gap, I think, because do Full some of the speed. television people want to move the cameras down front? Right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoyed it. Have a good time. Right, now, if the television cameramen want to stay in position, we're now doing the presentations, which are the finale of the press conference. They do that. First of all, we've got a presentation. Finale. The finale. Finale. Finale, finale. sorry. Oh, oh, I know. Um, is that, no, it is working. Sorry. Um, first presentation is here, which you'll explain. This is a great girls. You want to come up? This is a pinata, which, as we all know, is a Mexican California tradition. Inside contains everything that relates to California, to relates to the Beatles, to relates to their fans. As presented by these two young ladies right here. That's just simply wonderful, man. 
You take a stick and you'll break it. It's a pinata. Okay, girls, thank you very much. Right, for the final presentation now, I'm going to hand you over to Stanley Kortikov, President of Capital Records Distributing Corporation, who is somewhere about to fight his way through. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Alan Livingstone. In a few moments, the Beatles will receive an award from the hands of Mr. Alan Livingston, President of Capital Records. This award will be the coveted gold record awarded by the Record Industry Association of America in behalf of the Beatles' latest soundtrack album uh, entitled Help. Uh, to qualify for gold record status, a million dollars worth of sales are required, and this level was achieved in scarcely two weeks after the release of the album. Give us the money. <laughs> that will be seven out of seven for the Beatles, seven gold records for seven albums re uh, released, by Monday, we expect to receive notification of the gold record status for the latest single, also entitled Help. Now to perpetuate that Midas touch with gold records, Mr. Alan Livingston. Good old Alan. Hey, good old Alan. I might say that Capitol Records, which is uh, just a little bit older than any of you, uh, has never in its history experienced uh, the phenomena of the speed of your success, nor the depth of your success, nor the continuity of your success. Going way back to our first hit record of Ella Mae Morse's Cow Cow Boogie, which was recorded oh, before yeah. you were born, <laughs> right up to the present. It's, it's uh, something which will probably go down in history, and I'm very happy to continue this habit of presenting you with the gold record. Thanks, sir. Very I'm glad you got bored. I'm fed up with five years.